Okay, so as you can see, this is just what I use. It is the Alex 5 drawer. And up top, you can just see I have my brushes and then my perfumes. If you would like a perfume haul or my favorite perfumes for certain like seasons, let me know. So I have one for um, face and then ideally one for eyes. The face brushes are like quite thick. So they don't all just fit in one, so we've had to kind of, well, I've had to just transfer them over and utilize them. So here we have the top drawer. So on this side, we have my uh, setting sprays. We've just got some L'Oreal, um, It Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, Revlon, just some, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some bits and bobs and then here in this section we have my setting powder so we have the Too Faced Peach uh, Perfect, the Huda Beauty, we've got Fenty, KKW, Makeup Revolution, um, MCO Beauty. This one is a favourite of mine as you can see it's quite beat up but I really like this. It's an affordable setting powder. And then over here we have my primer so we've got the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas, we've got the Designer Brands, Too Faced, Smashbox, and then we just have a couple more little putties. The second drawer, also I do have to point out, just <laughs> ignore my hands. They are looking like they need to have a bit of TLC. Alright, so in the second drawer we have lips, so over here we just got some miscellaneous stuff. I am a makeup artist, so I do like to use um, disposable wands for mascaras and lips and I have some stickers for eyes so we can create a nice sharp line okay so over here we have some liquid lipsticks I have Huda Beauty, uh, Makeup Revolution, Kylie, um, KK, uh, Kat Von D so just a whole bunch of liquid li uh, lipsticks then back here we have some lip liners so I've just got a whole bunch again, like Covergirl, Makeup Revolution, Kylie, MAC. And then in here we have uh, lipsticks. So I've got Morphe, MAC, Becca, and this is like a lipstick balm by, um, I don't know if it's going to focus. No, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's just a really nice like, lipstick balm. And then over here we have lipsticks and like lip glosses and stuff like that. So we've got Morphe, um, what is this, Too Faced, Tarte, we've got Fenty, Makeup Revolution, yes. Now for the third drawer, this is my favourite drawer. So this is foundation and concealer. So here we have um, in this section my high-end foundations. So we just got some... Givenchy, Jouer, Too Faced, Huda Beauty, Zoeva, Hourglass, Fenty. And then in this little section, we just have my drugstore. So I've got Flower Beauty, Coco, uh, <laughs> let's kind of say Coco Melon, um, Colourpop, uh, Covergirl, Makeup Revolution, Maybelline. And then over here we have concealers. So just Marc Jacobs, Flower Beauty, Milk Makeup. Too Faced, Elf, Maybelline, you know, Nars, Morphe, KKW, so, and then I also just have my spare sponges here, and then right at the back I've got a couple of different um, shades of foundation because I am a makeup artist. In the fourth drawer we have face, so we have, um, in this section we have my highlighters and blushes, so I have, um, Kylie Cosmetics, KKW, Fenty Creams, MAC, and then highlighters I've got Fenty, I've got Elf, Becca, uh, Dose of Colors, MAC, and then bronzers we have my two Marc Jacobs ones, the white packaging is my favourite out of the two, then we've got the Morphe, we've got Fenty, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Huda Beauty, Kylie, um, the Balm, NARS, and then face palettes. So we have, this one is my favourite. It is the Charlotte Tilbury um, 
Film Star Bronze and Glow. So I love that. It's a highlighter and bronzer. We've got Sephora, Becca, Makeup Revolution. And then again, some different shades for clients. And in the very last drawer, we have my eyes. So I have this for liner, mascara, all of that stuff. We have these little pigments from Colourpop and Kathleen Lights Collab. I've got my lashes and then I have uh, my brows over here and then miscellaneous tools. And then right at the back I have my eyeshadow palette. So I've got Jaclyn Hill, Morphe, Dose of Colours, Colourpop, Makeup Revolution and some Emco Beauty and Huda Beauty. And then over here we just have my everyday makeup desk. It is a bit clustered. Um, as you can see, I've just washed some brushes, so they're uh, drying. I'm just going to start over here. So these are all my like everyday brushes that I like to use, just all sorts of randoms. And then over here is my everyday makeup that I like to go through and just swap out. And yeah, so we're going to go through this. So now for this. Just bring it forward. Um, so in this little section, I've just got like tools. So I've got I've got eyelash curlers, glue, scissors, sharpeners, tweezers, all of that stuff. And then in this little section, we have some lipstick. So I have this is Mac Half and Half. Oh, is it gonna focus? There we go. Um, a great just everyday mauvey nude shade. I've got. Morphe Hot Shot, so this is a nice red, so if I want something a bit dramatic as well, um, I just like to have options out. Then I have the Becca Yours Truly, which is the Khloe Kardashian and Malika uh, collab that they've done. So absolutely lovely, normal, everyday wear lipstick. Then in this little section we have concealers, so I've got the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. The Sharp Tape, um, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I also have the NARS um, Complete Creamy Concealer um, in the shade Custard. Moving on into this section here, we have my primers and foundations. So I did have the, the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter um, Primer. And I have used this all up. There's absolutely nothing coming out of it anymore. So it has been put aside. I have the, just a mini travel version of the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. So for days I need that extra moisture in my skin. This is great. And I have the Maybelline, ba ba Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, Primer. This is a really, really good dupe for the Fenty Beauty. If you, it's got a bit more of a silicone texture to it, but it is affordable and it honestly it works so great on the skin. Now moving on to the foundation. So I have the It Cosmetics um, CC foundation. This is the oil-free one. I really like this. So I have oily skin um, kind of going into combination. The older I get, which is great great news but um I love this foundation I definitely need to pick another one up this is my summer shade as you I'm in Australia obviously so it is going into spring now and um, I'm definitely going to be needing more of these this is in medium I have the Maybelline fit me uh, dewy and smooth this is in the shade uh, 20 220 it's looking a bit darker on camera but it's not that dark in real life um, again this is a really good shade this shade matches me all year round honestly it really doesn't matter but um again I like this one if I am needing a little bit more moisture in my face and um, I'm not trying to go too matte the last foundation is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter foundation this is in the shade 230 it's a great match for me um, love this foundation uh, yes foundation I don't when I use this it reminds me of the Lancome um, Tin Adelaide uh, 24 hour wear foundation 
don't really need a setting powder or anything over top of this. Um, I only need to apply powder when I use concealer. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great foundation. Pretty pricey, but it's really worth it. So the next section is back here. We've got some lips. So start off with the lip liners. So I just have four lip liners. I've got the Morphe Red Lip Liner. This is in the shade Wild Side. Kylie Cosmetics Lip lip liner in queen i've got the mac subculture the last one i have is the essence in the nude this one i've had for years i haven't had this one for years but i've used this lip liner for years and i've loved it it's a great nude lip liner and it's really affordable so so in this last compartment we have mascara so i've just got the May maybelline Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara, the Fenty Beauty um, volume, Full Frontal Volume Mascara. Absolutely love this. Um, spoke about that in my last, my recent video, so check it out. I've just got some eyeliners. So we've got Elf, we've got Essence Cream. This is a mellow mineral liner, so you basically just use this one as a winged liner. Another winged liner product by Essence. And then I have a Barry M Cosmetics liner, like pencil liner, obviously, in a blue shade. I also have the Brow Wand by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just, it's in clear. This is the Tarte Big Ego Brow Pomade. It's one of my favourites, go-to, easy to apply, sits really well. Absolutely love it. I have the Fenty Beauty... Um, Pro Filter in Butter. I have the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Absolutely love this. It's very, very subtle and it gives a very natural look. I've got the Benefit by Hoola. Um, got the Hoola by Benefit bronzer. Absolutely love this product. Wear it all the time. It's my go-to. I don't care what other bronzers or um, cream bronzers I use. I always use this on top. I have the MAC uh, Delphic bronzer, absolutely love, this is what it looks like, so natural, just gives a beautiful warmth to, uh, to the face. I have the mini of the Milk Makeup bronzer, it's just like this, I thought it was going to be bigger than this, but um, you know, when Sephora says mini, they actually mean mini. <laughs> Got the Kylie Cosmetics uh, blush in the shade, uh, we're going shopping. It's a beautiful peachy, just everyday uh, blush. Absolutely love it. Again, just gives a nice little flush, natural flush. You just look healthy. The last product up top is the Huda Beauty uh, Contour, the Tantor Bronzing Cream. And I've got mine in the shade light. Again, really love this. This is the product that really got me into using cream products and enjoying cream products. Moving on to the drawers. There's only two drawers here. So the first one we have, we have a Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. This one's in the shade Summertime Wine. Just looks like this. It's a beautiful uh, peach purple, like a maroony purple. Oh, so wine, a very wine, very wine kind of color. It's not really showing up on camera, but absolutely love this product. Then we have the Dose of Colors and I Love Sarah Hi. I Love Sarah He. Sorry, I know I, for years, I have not known how to pronounce this, um, but this is her collab with Dose Colors in the shade Soulmate. This is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning it's a very beautiful highlighter it looks deep in the pan but honestly the swatches once it's on your skin it is so nice and it doesn't make my face look uh textured which my face is and the last product in this drawer is by dior this is the uh backstage yeah uh glow face palette mine's obviously in the shade light and i've got the two highlighters the blush and the bronzer I've got the e.l.f. highlighting beam um, highlighting palette. Just looks like this. The products are amazing. Um, honestly, it's very affordable. It's really nice. You get a good glow. And there's something in here for like everybody. Everyone has different needs and wants when it comes to highlighters. And honestly, I feel like this definitely provides. In this last drawer, 
we have uh, the Becca, I think, opal. So it just looks like this. Everyone knows what this looks like. Beautiful highlight. I just have a small hourglass um, powder. It's just, it is just the ambient lighting powder. Honestly, it just smooths out my under eyes because that's where I like to use it the most. Smooths out your under eyes and it just gives that nice subtle glow. The last two products in here are setting powders. So I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. Um, it's just a nice fine powder that you can use. Again, gives that natural glow if you're not looking to highlight and you just want something nice and subtle. And then again, <clears throat> if you've watched my videos from ages ago, years ago, uh, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Translucent Powder has always been my favourite. This looks very, very loved. Um, as you can see, it's broken again. And um, yeah, again, another affordable product that's really great, I recommend. And then moving across, we have my mirror that I like to use. It definitely lights up, but it's flat, so I've got to charge it. Um, and then we have my Fenty Beauty. I like these products, but I like to keep them out just as, like, you know, decor. <laughs> and then we move over. So I have my setting sprays that I like to use just every day. I'm just trying to use products up at this point. Um, so I've got the Glam Glow Glow Setter. Not a big fan of this, don't really care for it. The Colourpop All Star Setting Spray. So I've got this when um, I purchased the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop uh, pigments. And the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix O2. I've spoken about this in previous videos. Um, I do like it. It was a favourite for a while. But um, now not that fond of it. So again, just trying to use it up. So I've got room for more stuff. And then over here... We just got my Little Mix lipsticks, so these are just for show and like a collective kind of thing. Um, I've had them for years, so like 2014, 2015. Um, definitely out of date, definitely not going to be using them, but I'm keeping them because I'm a big fan of Little Mix, absolutely love them. And yeah, behind that I've just got a little tray where you can clean your brushes off in between looks. Um, this is a electric uh, face roller absolutely love this and then behind under that I've got the Kenzie which is just a at home IPL this is an American brand so if you do order it and you are not from America you will have to get an American adapter so you can use it because it does have the American connection okay so that's everything for my makeup collection um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am a bit stuffy, so please just mind that. I'm not showing my face because I am having some wisdom teeth uh, problems and it's really driving me crazy, so I don't have makeup on and I look wild. Um, bit of a stuffy nose, obviously, as um, I've just said, but I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. We don't win, gosh, and